How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Back to another review. A little bit of, again, more Florida. Florida Weiss, Berliner Weiss, whatever you want to call it. The form of Hidden Springs Brewings. It's their Stevi. Probably butchering that in some form or fashion. It's a papaya lime and vanilla Berliner. Um, Hidden Springs have had a bunch of their stuff, courtesy of Jason. Corny Craft Beers, Corny with a K on Instagram. He doesn't do YouTube stuff, but go check him out. Super cool dude. Sent me off a bunch of stuff, and uh, yeah, ripping through them. I believe this is my last one. The last one I did, I thought was my last one, but I'm pretty sure this is my last one. Regardless, we're going to drink it. Uh, what does it say on here? It says Stevi, uh, Papaya, Lime, and Vanilla Berliner. It's 5.5% alcohol by volume. No story time. This was canned da, 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 a month and a half ago. Uh, it says down here, shotgun responsibly. Now, here's the thing. It says Estevi. I don't know what that means. I could be butchering that. Um, and what you have on here is the typical kind of Hidden Springs kind of flash tattoo art thing going on. 316. That's Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, is that some Rico something? I don't know. Um, listen, I'm not the biggest wrestling fan in the world. I know that's kind of blasphemy for people. You know, wrestling is one of the more kind of niche cool things to be in. But I've never been a big wrestling guy. But I know enough about wrestling. I feel like I'm missing the gist of what Estevi means. Am I? Am I not? I don't care. You want to know why? Because it's beer. So as long as it doesn't taste like Steve Austin's balls, I think I'm in good shape. Uh, Labelized, it's all right. Like I said, tattoo art beast kind of flash stuff. But um, some of these have been hit and miss for me. They've done a PB&J one that was kind of cool. They've done ones that are kind of just kind of base Berliners that didn't have much going on for them. So I'm kind of curious each time I dive into one of these to see what they bring. Piggy finger, uh, kind of super rockiness all around. Um, uniform bubbles throughout and a soft, vibrant champagne-like carbonation packed in that nice golden glow of a Berliner. So she looks the part. Looks a little bit kind of somewhere between Berliner and champagne. Get a nose. You definitely get that big fruit of papaya thing in there. It comes off like a, like an overly fermented, almost like getting to the point of being spoiled kind of papaya in a good way, not a negative thing. Um, it's a bit of sweetness in there. The vanilla is not really coming through in that sweetness. It's more of a generic sweetness. It's like a big, malty, nutty, almost weedy kind of maltiness combined with that uh, fruity component that comes off kind of that Berliner kind of sourness. A little bit more kind of um, puckering um, kind of sourness than some of the other ones I've had from Hidden Springs. It smells good. It smells nice. It smells like a Berliner. Not overly sweet, though, which I kind of dig. Let's dive in. Cheers. Okay. That vanilla definitely comes through. That papaya comes through like crazy. Wow. You get a little bit of that kind of zesty citrus from that line, too. Man, that's pretty impactful stuff in a really cool way. It's probably, well, I'll cut it to Jason's hands one of the better Berliners I've had in quite some time. Just in the in in the way it's kind of playing and being impactful, it's super fun. Yeah, the way that fruit, the vanilla, that lime all play, it's giving me like mixed drink on the beach kind of vibes. I think I said this about one of their other beers. I think this is like the fourth one I've done from this series that Jason sent me. So I'll probably post them all at the same time, so you'll see them all. It's probably over a month between when I did the first review to where I'm doing this one. But yeah, I'm getting this, I think I said this before, that's why I mentioned that, is that I'm getting this big kind of mixed drink vibe, like sitting on the beach, kind of drinking your fruited kind of tequila based kind of margarita style beer, or a uh, drink, sorry, but this in kind of more of a beer form. It's really fucking fun. Mm. Bright, vibrant, acidic powerful impactful at the same time being drinkable it's not like over the top you're like oh my god i cannot get through this i'm probably gonna rip through this way faster than i normally do a lot of berliners so it's giving me a nice kind of a uh, pop acidic base i think the lime kind of adds to that um the, the papaya thing i think adds to that too but bridges you the kind of sweeter end of things where you're getting that malt kind of in there then when you throw that vanilla in in the mix it just kind of throws this buffer around everything and makes it super welcoming, super drinking, drinkable, super 
crushable. I've been saying that word a lot lately, but it's summer. And these are crushable beers. But um, yeah, this is really fucking super tasty stuff. I'm digging it. Mm. That's fun. Nice mouthfeel, nice carbonation. Vanilla wins me over really big in this one. It's right where it should be. It's not heavy handed or too small. I already said it. Is one of the better Berliners I've had. Is really, yes, uh, might be the best. Uh, listen, Berliners to me are a lot like, I don't know how to put it. I don't know the analogy that I want to kind of display here, but you know, they're not sours, but they're not just like normal beers. I know it's kind of weird to say. Um, they have their own kind of niche and their own kind of genre. Um, to me, they almost fall in the kind of the cider category. You know, cider lover is going to be like, fuck you, asshole, whatever. But this plays and it, it comes off way more, uh, uh, has way more depth, way more complexity than a lot of the blenders I've had as of late, even from the same company. So this is pretty good stuff. Value and availability, no idea. Maybe Jason can chime in. Let us know what's what when it comes to Hidden Springs and leave you with, if you like what we like, just... If you like Berliners, if you like sour beers, you want anything tart, you want summer drinkers, but you just like multi-layered fun. That's the key word here, fun beers. If you like fun beers, you like this, because it's fun as fuck. So there you go, another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there, if you want to talk about it, Massive Beers, if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, Beer Massive, M-A-S-S-I-F, that is. Uh, if you want to check me out doing the whole uh, po beer podcasting thing, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice little summer beer right now, and hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.